Hi, it's Kyle from Any Up Graphics Supply. Today in this silhouette tutorial, I'm going to show you how to select by color. So basically what that means is if you have all these colors on the screen here in this unicorn and you wanted to group all these pink together, but they're all separate. So you could oh, put that back. You could, uh, you know, click this pink, hold down the shift key, click this pink, hold down the shift key, and then go through and click all the pinks. And then usually what happens is you move it and you didn't get them all. So with the select by color, you can very easily grab all the colors that you want and then um, move them or group them together so it's easier when you go to cut. Or if you want to recolor all this pink to a purple, you'd be able to do that very quickly. And I'll show you how to do it. So at the very top, right, there's a little uh, paint palette. So if you click on that, it opens up a panel, select by color. Now this panel should be, the select by color should be over here. I don't know why it's not, but it's up top. So anyway, select by color, you can do it by the line or you can do it by the fill. Now this design that I have up, the lines aren't colored, so it's just going to say no color. So I could select all of them or not, but if they are colored, you could select by line too. Similar to what I show you with the fill, we'll work with the line. So if I go by fill, fill meaning the color that's filled into the shape. If I click on any of these colors in this list, it'll select all of the same color. So if I take this baby blue or whatever and just show you guys that it's not connected to anything. If I click this, it it actually grabs all of the blue. So now I can move all of it. And then I could group this if I wanted to. And then now it's all one piece. I'm just going to put that back. So if I wanted to color it a different color, I could click the blue, come up here, and now it's purple. Very easy. Now the blue still stays in there, but now there's the purple for that item. Now another good feature is, for example, there's if you look on this design, it looks like there's one color pink, but actually there's two. There's this and then the, the couple of stars there. So if you wanted them all to be the same color, what you can do is you can click one of the pinks and if you hold down the shift key and then click the other it grabs the other items as well and then I could go up here and I could pick a pink and now they're all that color and now if I grab this one here and it changes it so now I have all of the pink at once that's super helpful if you buy a design, have a design made for you, or acquire a design somehow, and it, everything is not exactly how you want it. You can very easily uh, fix that. So that's basically it, the select by color. It's a really easy feature if you wanted to group everything. I like all of my colors grouped. So I would go in here and I would just click the purple, click the purple, and then uh, right click, group, click the two, click this yellow, hold down shift, click this yellow, right click, group, you know, pink. Right click, group, and there you go. That is the select by color. Also, real quickly before I go, is the include groups or 
only shapes and media. So if I have something outside of here, let's see, I'm going to ungroup, move these over. See if I click this one here, it's not going to highlight these out here because they're not in the in the media or on the grid on the mat. There you go. But now that they're on here, if I click this, it grabs them. So that way, if you have other designs out here and you're not really working on them, you can just grab them here. Hope that make include groups is pretty uh, self-explanatory if the items are grouped then it'll include it in here that's all all right so if you have any questions uh, let me know if you have any ideas for any other videos let me know put it in the comments I'd be happy to make the videos for you thanks have a good one